WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this uh, Thursday, the 11th of April. We're looking at the Dow at this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update, down 74 at 38,381. I'll talk about this in my show coming up. The Tiger Technicians out of this arch formation with the left side, right side price time match, as well as breaking below the left side low and a Chapman wave Roman candle right here, where if for 60 minutes we go under 38,400, you got to be careful because we could really test yesterday's low. Looking at the S&P, oh, so the Dow, right? Yeah, so the S&P is trading down. It was up, now it's down $1.35 at 51.59. This is the first time that the S&P has actually gone negative in the nine-period moving average, but the day is young. We're, not, we're 30, just over 30 minutes into the trading day. It is young, but it seems to me that one by one we're getting the Dow went at negative a while ago. That's why we're still short. Looking at the S&P, looking at the QQQ, it's already been negative for a couple of days, and it's up the dollar thirteen at four three nine point forty five, holding the Chapman wave inside track propellant zone. We'll see if it's going to take that out, up or down. Looking at the IWM, that went negative with the nine period moving average. It's at two hundred ninety four. It's unchanged right now. Gold is ah, amazing. Gold is trading. Up 13 at 2360. We'll talk about that when I get back. But this is really very positive action because the dollar actually had a beautiful up spike yesterday. Uh, now it's down 10 ticks at 105.09. So this is something completely separate to the dollar. They are uh, in two different worlds. Uh, now let's go to the uh, crude oil. Crude oil at this particular point is down 85 cents at 85.35. Let's go bonds. Hey, hey, hey. Bonds are down again, down for 30 seconds at 114 and a half. This is not good news. So as I see it, I think that we are <clears throat> we are waiting for all the confirmation patterns of the uh, nine period moving average going uh, crossing negative in the key indices. But it's at SMH until the SMHs go pink. I think we've got some, a little bit of buying pressure that keeps coming in. So the semiconductors up 98 cents at 223.13 and watching this one very closely. I'll be back. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. See you in a few minutes.